the final week of the regular season and i'm hyped right now there's a couple of reasons why well antonio brown comes back in three weeks so we have to make it to the conference championship or he ever comes back but let me show you the other reasons now for my personal stats right now i have about 3700 passing yards i have 37 touchdowns and nine interceptions i would like to stay in the single digit interception category so i can't throw a single interception in the final game of the season but i'm three touchdowns away from 40. I'm about 256 yards away from 4,000 the season. Those are both big numbers that I'm gonna hit. The real big news is that I happen to be first for the MVP voting, and right behind me is Matt Ryan, who plays for the team that we actually play this week, and behind him is Phillip Rivers, which is the team that we're tied for in the division right now for the division lead. So we have to win this game, I have to outplay Matt Ryan, and if I do, we should have a first round bye and an MVP. So again, currently we sit at a 92 overall. I have one point to upgrade before going into the final week of the regular season. Scrambler, improviser, field general, strong armor, all the different options. I think though I want to throw accuracy uh, a little bit up. So I'm going to go improviser here. We're going to get, oh my God, a ton of stuff upgraded. Plus one to break sack, plus one to throw on run, plus two to throw accuracy deep. We got a new ability slot. We got fast break and agile extender. Let's go check those out and see what they actually are. So here you can see on our abilities tab that we have again an open slot for ability so fast break passers of this ability immediately respond to user input and defenders react more slowly on design quarterback run plays as a scrambling quarterback i kind of like that next one is while in the pocket passers of this ability are also are almost guaranteed to evade the first sack attempt by a blitzing defensive back really defensive backs aren't really that big of a problem for me i think we're gonna go with fast break but the other ones right here our uh, dashing dead eye. This is a 90 overall for improviser. Passers with this ability have uh, perfect accuracy in all throws while running outside the pocket. Uh, this is perfect accuracy in all unpressured throws inside the red zone. Uh, pocket lead is going to be uh, on all unpressured precision passing uh, from the pocket. You have extended range. And let's see what the other ones are. Uh, ability to have access to four extra hot routes during pre play adjustments. That's kind of cool. Uh, passers with this ability have perfect accuracy in all throws outside the numbers. And the last one is uh, have an increased success rate when using pump fakes on double move routes against zone covers. That's actually pretty dope. I would love to use that one, but for right now, we have to go with fast break. We don't have access to the other ones. I think we're about to have a lot of fun in this game. So we were here in Oakland or Las Vegas, whatever you want to call it. But we are here playing at home again for what feels like the zillion time in the series playing a home game. Imagine that, but I'm excited. Again, we have an opportunity to throw for 4,000 pass yards in the season today, get 40 touchdowns, win the MVP, and win our division. There is so much on the line today. We've got to come up big. I also want to point out that Josh Jacobs has run for over 1,100 yards in the season, and hopefully after today, he'll be a little closer to 1,200. It's been a heck of a season for him, considering the first season didn't work out too well for him. And again, as a reminder, if you missed in the first part of the video, there is no Antonio Brown, so things are going to be a little extra dicey. Your boy's going to be out here running nonstop, though. But again, the beautiful part of that trait that we got is the defenders are going to react more slowly. That is music to my ears. The slower they react, the better for me. We got our guy out here. We're going to float one to him. Beautiful little dot. He's going to pick that one up and more getting the first down for us. So that throw right there gave Tyrell Williams 750 yards receiving on the year. I'm happy about that. He's been a major piece of this team, and that's great. Now we're going to go ahead and loft one up to him here. I'm a little dangerous. He had to play defense instead of offense there. It was a bad throw. I'm going to try to make a better throw here on second and 10. And dropping back. Got our guy floating in double coverage. Actually, triple coverage, and we dropped it. So I'm hoping that I could possibly make a better read here, make a better throw. We got Melvin. Our boy Melvin's in. I feel good about that. I'm actually going to put Jacobs on a little halfback wheel round. That's a dicey one, but Griffin's going to hold on to it. Good Lord, this man got hit, but he held on to it. So after two really bad throws, we come back with a pretty good throw across the middle, finding Griffin right as he broke for his route. Going here to Josh Jacobs again, let the young fella run wild. He's going to pick up about 10 or 11 yards on that carry. All right, in the goal line area. Williams here. We got Terrence Williams breaking out to the edge. We got Morgan underneath if we don't have him. You know what? Yo, our guy's wide open. Josh Jacobs, what are you doing? We just talk about how my guy literally just got hit in the face of the football that's what you're doing all right running double slant i'm putting morgan out here in a quick little out route griffin's on a out route of his own Let's see what we got here oh easy money dicey easy i'll take it look at him shrugging off the defenders jermaine curse he's back so our first drive was a little slow a little methodical but at the end of the day it worked out we had a couple of bad throws in there but the good outweighed the bad and we got seven points now we're starting our second one here. We got Josh Jacobs going through the middle, and nobody blocked both of the middle linebackers. 
Yeah, second and nine again. Jacobs out here to our right-hand side. Feeling pretty good, though. We're going to run one. Okay, buddy, the juke move. Two yards. That was not impressive. Got to be honest. That was uh, <laughs> that was not my best play of all time. The juke move looked good, though. All right, back at shotgun by myself. We got Curse out here rolling. We find him easy on that one. They sat in the wrong coverage, and we got him. I'm going to spread the ball around a little bit again with no AB. Maybe that was honestly the best thing to happen to us. Without Antonio Brown, I'm forced to find lots of different receivers. That last play, Desmond Trufant had a pretty good tackle, but it's second and nine. And after only getting one yard, we need something a little bit better. Bringing that one back here across the middle. Terrence Williams. Look, he didn't do well in Dallas, but he's doing well here. All right, this was supposed to be a read option, but we're going to audible out of that because they have everybody in the box and it's not looking good. Got a guy going deep. Yo, he's got room. He's got legs and he's going to catch that one for six points. Possibly seven if the extra point goes in. Tyrell Williams. Big time players make big time plays. That's what you want to see. That gives me 39 passing touchdowns a year. We are one away. Actually, I'm going to put Williams again in the street. I was just one away from getting the big 40 on the season. Yo, they gave it to him. I'm going to loft it up for him one time. Big fella back to back. Big plays. Don't press that man. He's dangerous. All right, real talk. We got to chill in the deep passes because they're going to pick one of those off. But can our defense step up? It's 14-14 right now. You've got to get this to work. Josh Jacobs doing his part. Goes up the middle for about five. Okay, I thought he got five, but he actually got three. So... This is what it is. We got Curse going late. Give her a little bit across the middle. Dot right there, and then it got batted out. Great play on defense. Third down, seven yards to go. I want to put Williams on a streak again, but I'm kind of afraid to do that. I'm going to put Griffin here in a streak, though. See what we got. Kind of heavy in the box. You got our guy moving, but you know what? Well, I should have thrown it. I regret everything. Should have thrown it. Hold on just a darn second. We missed the field goal. Hello? What the heck just happened? You've got to be kidding me. We missed the field goal. How do we miss a chip shot? And can we get the face mask? We got to score before halftime, or else we're going to be in trouble. Okay. Definitely a face mask. That was going to give us plenty of yards. We got plenty of time on the clock to go down the field and score. Yo, I thought that ability I had made defenders react way more slowly. It obviously didn't work out in that previous one. Yo, they're giving Tyrell Williams all the room in the world. I got a strong arm, baby, and Tyrell Williams get run for days. Another one. Keep pressing him. Please keep pressing him. He is insane. That is 40 passing touchdowns this season, and we're still in the first half. We got more to come. The minute and 12 seconds left, we have the ball right back. They didn't really get anything, so we got an opportunity. At least three points here is what I want. Oh, God. Oh, okay. You know what? I should have passed it. What am I doing? Not my best decision there, but you live and you learn. Put a Terrence Williams on a deep route to go ahead and clear that one. Cool. Out route here. Josh Jacobs. Nice little catch. I'll take that. Let's call the timeout. And yeah, not a lot of time here. First and 10. Play a little bit around. See what we can find. We got our big fella right here. I like this one. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Let's go. At the 38. Almost a field goal range. All right. That was a really good throw. I'm really proud of that one. Williams on the out route. Cursed across the middle. Got Griffin down the middle for a tight end scene. I'm risking it. I'm risking it. Griffin, big fella. Okay. This is our second time out here. We're right where we want to be right now. Every single point matters here. We have got to get into the end zone. I wanted a field goal, but I desperately want to get a touchdown right now. 25 seconds left. One timeout on the 11. Oh, my God. We got him wide open. Let's go. He's down at the one. All right. Use your timeout here. This is risky, but I believe that we can get it. As much as I want to run a QB sneak, if we don't get it, then we have no timeouts and it'll be kind of tough. We do have 20 seconds left, but I believe we can get this to go. Oh, yeah. Easy. Wide open. Boom. What a dot. What a catch. We're on the board again. Not one, not two, not three, but four first half passing touchdowns. I'm here for it. Wait, booth review. What? I'm sorry. OK, let's go ahead and look at it real quick. Oh, my God. Easily. Both feet were down. Look at it again. Both feet are down. We're fine. Put it on the board. So pick it up in the second half. We've got the ball and we've got plenty of time to march down the field. I like what we've got right now. Seven point lead. The running game's doing okay. Not great, but the pass the game is on fire. Tyrell's going to press on the edge. This might work out for us. Drop him back. Let him run it on his break. Oh my God. What a move. Tyrell Williams is looking like a number one receiver right now. I'm telling you guys right now, if we can get to the AFC Championship with Tyrell playing like this and AB coming back, we are going to be a major problem. I'm handing that one off. Go ahead, Josh Jacobs. Okay, buddy. That wasn't what I wanted. 
But seriously though, the injury to AB is probably one of the best things that happened to me because I'm actually forced to throw it anywhere and basically everywhere. Scrambling as I talk about throwing. We gotta get rid of it. Holy crap, that dude is fast. Why am I so slow? Talked a lot about passing and I've looked really bad so far uh, in the second half. So hopefully things get better. I can shotgun by myself. Oh, that was a close one. Jermaine Curtis is gonna hold on to it. A great block there. Oh my God. No, not like this. Not like this. It was all good. Just a second ago. Look, things were working so well. And uh, all of a sudden, it's downhill. We're gonna run a little wildcat here. Let's see what your boy can do out in the open field. Okay. Okay. Nine yards. Could have been a touchdown. I gotta do better than that, man. That's. Where's my speed at? Okay. Where is it? I. It's missing. Someone find it. Second and inches. A little underneath route. We got our tight end. Big fella. Go ahead and pick up that first down. Hold on to the ball, everybody. All right, first and 10. We're gonna hand the ball off to Josh Jacobs. Plenty of room for him to run it. He gets hit really hard. Second down, a couple of yards ago, I believe in this one. Tight end on the seam again, a little corner route. Full time for the QB to go ahead and scramble real quick. Buddy, my reaction time is so slow. My quarterback needs to be faster. All right, Curse actually is being pressed. I'm gonna let him run a streak. Same with uh, Williams on the edge. Oh my God, Curse, YOLO. This is probably not a good throw. I was right, it was a really bad throw. One thing I'm still trying to do is get that sort of back shoulder over the shoulder kind of throw. I haven't really got it mastered yet and probably will be a long time before I ever get it mastered. But if I ever get it, I'll feel really good. Oh my God, quick pass. We got killed, but Terrence Williams got the first down. Throws like that are ones that I honestly probably feel the best about because I take my time. I see the blitz. I read it and then I get rid of it quickly. I feel really good about those. Look how slow my acceleration is. It's absolutely insane. If we get some speed drills in the offseason, I guess in my mind, I'm supposed to be as fast as Lamar Jackson, but <laughs> it's never going to happen. Yo, I have like a zillion tight ends in the game right now. Underneath, throw to Watt real quick. Go ahead, big fella. You ran into a brick wall and got two. Second out of seven, Williams, Morgan. Morgan actually might be the guy in the streak route. They don't pick him up immediately. We got him wide open. Inside track. YOLO got him. Boom. Let's go. 200 IQ. Go ahead and roast me in the comments. 200 IQ. The Falcons are struggling. The first half was incredible for them. The second half, not looking so good right now. But personally, I'm pretty happy about that. Could the running game just get some blocking? Josh Jacobs is amazing. Give him some blocks. I would love to see him just run with a little bit of blocking, but they just can't get it to him for whatever reason. Pass across the middle. Probably going to get Jermaine Curse killed, and it was close. Third down, inches to go. Start of the fourth quarter, I believe. Hand it off to Josh Jacobs. There we go. Solid blocking for once, and he got five. So we quickly turn to third down into first down, and I'm happy about the progress so far. Honestly, see if we can lull him asleep real quick. Throw a little dot down the field. We set him up. Terrence Williams, stop fumbling, please. I will send you back to Dallas, and you'll never be able to catch a pass again. Okay, I'm just kidding. Everyone's going to be like, pay Dak Prescott. He's a mediocre quarterback. Actually, don't use that part. I'm going to get roasted. Listen, Terrence Williams, if you fumble again, I will send you back to a quarterback not nearly as good as me, Dak Prescott. Everyone knows I'm a better quarterback. As I throw a ball for one yard. I am curious from you guys, though. Do you think Dak Prescott should get paid? Will he get paid? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I liken him to kind of Carson Wentz in that situation of, like, he's pretty similar to him. I don't know if he's actually going to get the money that he really wants. Got a guy wide open. We got the first down. What? He dropped it. He really dropped that? Okay. Cowboys fans are going to sell me because I roasted Dak Prescott briefly that well, I'm not getting anything going. I just, you know what? I'm never talking bad about Dak Prescott again. It's been downhill ever since. So Atlanta, I think, turned it over. We've got a 17-point lead thanks to that last field goal. And Josh Jacobs still can't get a single block to help him out. Second down, nine yards to go. we got a pretty good lead. I'm going to run the Wildcat. Hello. Actually, the blocking for the... Blocking for the Wildcat did look better. Then I fumbled. Listen, listen. Take your hands off the keyboard. Stop roasting me. I can already tell. Wow, you're running the Wildcat. You've got a giant lead. Because my running back can't run more than four yards, okay? And that's rare. That's his best run. Honestly, though, I need to get first downs. We have a 10 point lead. I do not want to throw this game. I had a perfect game going, and then life came at me kind of fast. Josh Jacobs. Okay, for that time, you didn't follow your block. What are you doing, buddy? This is one of those times where you got to take matters into your own hands, you know? I'm here to do that. 
They're down. Five yards to go. Got our guy wide open. Let's go. If you can just catch it on the run, that's a touchdown. I literally just got to look at how many yards that passed for today. We're over 400 passing yards. Tell me I can't throw the ball. Tell me. I'll laugh at you. What is going on with the running games? Again, we're trying to run the ball a little bit to the clock. It's just not working out very well. And then Jacobs run again. He finds a little bit of room, but there's nowhere to go when he only gets two. So it's where we are right now on third down and 11. The running game not working. I don't really trust them to do much. We're going to go to the passing game. Try and get a first down and get out of here. Easy money. Jermaine curse. Keep running. Keep your balance. You were so close. Honestly, I want another touchdown. Let's see what we got here. It's uh, Williams here. Griffin. Actually, I'm gonna let him stay with what he's got. A little post across the middle might actually work. Easy. Easy. Down to the one. Real talk. Josh Jacobs is taking a beat down this game. I want him to try to get into the end zone rather than get a passing touchdown here. Let the young fella go ahead and eat. Can we block someone? Please. Can we do it? We are going to do what the Seattle Seahawks did not do. We're going to run the football. FX toss out to the edge. Get one block for Josh Jacobs. Young fella run and he's in the end zone. He deserves it, man. He's had such a good season so far. He's been an important part. Nobody blocked for him today, but finally he got a block, got into the end zone. We're putting this game away. So that's going to be a wrap. We're going to walk in here in week 17 with a big W against the Falcons. We should be first in our division. We should have sealed up the MVP with an incredible performance. And your boy, 480 yards, five touchdowns, no interceptions. I'm the best QB in the NFL. Recap of the stats today, a perfect QB rating. That is tough to do. 26 to 33, 480 yards, five touchdowns, no picks. You've seen the stat line. It's incredible. So I had to show you twice. Matt Ryan, 26 to 41, 340 passing yards, three touchdowns, two picks. Not a bad game. Not good enough to beat us. On the ground, Josh Jacobs, 20 of 47, one touchdown. Is Smith, 11 of 54, one touchdown. I just want to point out, by the way, ran the ball 20 times, get 47 yards and one touchdown. Do everyone telling me you don't run the ball enough with the running back? Look at what happens with 20 attempts. Stop it. It's some help. In the air, you see Terrence Williams, six for 98, one touchdown. I roast him a lot, but he's been really good the back half of the season, especially since AB got injured. Uh, Calvin Ridley, six for 30. Ty Tyrell Williams, six for 192 touchdowns. Those deep throws we had to him, incredible. He put on a show today. Uh, Muhammad Sanu, Austin Hooper, a couple of those guys did well. Jermaine Curse, five for 89 and one touchdown. He's so far down the list, but that's still a really good game. So after the game, your boys out here taking selfies. Don't judge me on that. No Doug Beanie slander, but it was a really good game. By far, I think the best game in my entire career. It's the end of the season. We wrapped it up strong. We should have our division. We should have the MVP. We should have a whole lot of awards to put in our cabinet. But do any of those matter? We don't go home with the Super Bowl. Last season, my first year, we didn't go to the playoffs. This year, we booked our ticket. I just don't want to go home in the first week. I want to dominate and walk home with that.